Hi, my name's Neil Davis and I'm the founder of Digital Cloud Training. This video is an excerpt from our upcoming course for the AWS Certified Solutions Architects Associate Certification that is made up almost entirely of hands-on labs. Over 20 hours of practical exercises to give you the knowledge and experience to pass your exam. I hope you enjoy the video and for more information about our courses, check out our social media. In this lab, we're going to create an ECS cluster using the EC2 launch type, and we're going to create it using the ECS CLI. In this course, I want to show you how to use the ECS CLI as well as the AWS CLI, and also how to create ECS clusters through the console as well. And that will give you a better, more rounded experience and knowledge of ECS. The configuration that we're going to create is going to be very similar to the one that you see on the screen here. We won't be using the Elastic Container Registry, but we will be using a task definition that uses WordPress containers and MySQL containers. And those images will be pulled from the Docker Hub. We'll have two container instances and we'll have an ECS cluster. We're going to use the Docker Compose method of creating our cluster. And that means we need these two files, docker-compose.yml and ecsparams.yml. So you do need to use these exact file names and you'll find these files in the course downloads. If you want to change the cluster name and the region, you can do so within this file and you need to do so for both the WordPress and the MySQL image. Other things you'll note is that there's the host port and the container port here. And you can see that we've got the WordPress image and the MySQL image and that there's a link so that the WordPress image is linked to the MySQL image. There's also a place where you can specify a password. In the ecsparams.yml file, here we specify CPU shares and memory limits for each of our services, WordPress and MySQL. So you'll need to copy these files into a directory, make any changes you need to make around your region and cluster name, and then open a command line and change to that directory. Now I'm already in the correct directory, so I can just type ls and I can see that I have those files. So you need to make sure that you're in the correct directory and you can see these files. I'm then going to paste in this command. So this is the ECS CLI configure command and we specify a cluster name and we're gonna call it DCT ECS cluster, a region and I'm using AP Southeast 2, you can change it to whatever you want. You can change the, the cluster name as well. And then we've got a default launch type, which is EC2, and the configuration name, which is the same as the cluster name in this case. So I'm gonna hit enter, and it saved the cluster configuration. We now need to run this configure profile command. So it's ECS CLI configure profile. We need to provide an access key and a secret key and then a profile name, which is DCT ECS cluster. So that's now been saved. The next command brings the cluster up. So it's ECS CLI up. We provide a VPC ID. So this is the, my custom VPC. I've copied the ID and pasted it here. We then specify a key pair. So I'm using my Sydney-KP. We specify the number of instances. I've got two and the instance type, which is T2 micro. We then specify the cluster config, which is DCT ECS cluster. And we specify two subnets with a comma in between. So you can take these IDs from the VPC management console. And we're gonna press enter. And what's happening now is CloudFormation will create this stack for us. So it's gonna bring up the cluster. And if we head over to the CloudFormation console, we can see the ECS CLI setup and our cluster name, and it's a create in progress. And we could go here and see what's happening. If we go over to ECS, we may have a cluster. Yeah, we've got a cluster. So you can see the cluster, but nothing's gonna get started yet. So we're actually bringing up the cluster configuration and any supporting infrastructure, but we won't be running a service or a task through this command. I paused the video for a couple of minutes and we can now see that our cluster creation has succeeded. 
and if we head over to the EC2 management console we can see that we have two instances running. So these are the ones that have been created by CloudFormation and if we head over to ECS we've got a cluster and if we have a look at instances we can see that we've got these two instances. But we don't have any tasks running yet. So what we need to do is come back over here and run another command. And this is going to deploy our compose file. So the file that's the docker compose and the ECS params.yml. These are both going to be used now to create our tasks. The command is ECS CLI compose up, create log groups, and then cluster config and the name of our cluster. So it's starting now. We can see there's a fail to create log group because it already exists. That's OK but the containers are appearing to start. So let's have a look while this is in progress. Let's head over here and hit refresh. And sure enough, we've got our WordPress task definition running. And the last status was in pending. Desired status is running. So we should see these both be running soon and it will go, it will turn green as well. And we can see that this is still working at the moment, creating the second task definition as well. So that's completed. Let's head back. And we have a running task. And if we go into that task, we can see some information about it. And if we head down to WordPress, we can get the external IP. So this is the public IP address that we're going to use. So just before we go there, you can see the instance ID that it's running on. You can see the container instance ID as well. You can see the task definition has been launched from. And then what you're seeing here is then the, the information that you can associate with a container. So there's lots more information that's not been configured. And then under MySQL, again here, there's not much information that's been configured in this other than the password. So let's take this IP address and I'm going to open a tab and here's our WordPress site. I'm just going to call this site one, give it a username of digital cloud. I'm going to use that for the password as well. Confirm that it's a weak password. I'll give it a fake email address and let's just install WordPress. And so that's it. We, we now have a, a working WordPress instance running on a container. Back on the command line, we could also use ECS CLI PS and then give it the cluster. I'll type that correctly. And this will also give us some information about what's running on the cluster. So we can see that we have a single instance of this task running WordPress and MySQL, and you can see the public IP address. So that's all we're going to do in this lab. We're going to leave the resources running. And then in the next lab, we're going to see how we can scale our cluster.